Hey guys, Saban here with another tutorial on After Effects and what I'm going to be showing you today is how to do that kind of transparent, invisible, glassy gun effect that quite a few people, quite a few people have been using recently and what I also did in my uh, latest edit called My Mind and some people wanted to know how to do this effect so I'm making that tutorial right now and first of all I just want to say thanks to 2000 subscribers to like 2000 is quite a lot I mean I was pretty chuffed when I got 1000 but then 2000 bam I really cannot appreciate all the support I've been getting on um, on my edits on my tutorials and it I really just do appreciate all the support and I just want to say thanks for 2k subscribers but let's get straight back into the tutorial um, the way uh, the way this effect works is that you need a green screen of the gun so you can apply the displacements and the transparencies to that but then you also need the actual main game footage without the gun and you can only really do that on PC I've seen like some like people using it on console edits um, and yeah if it's done well it looks pretty good but the way that works you can only really do it with a few uh, gun movements like bringing out the weapon and then making that little green screen but with this you can actually uh, get a green screen from the actual game footage and then you can get the actual game footage without the gun and I'm just going to quickly show you the commands and how to use them and the quick workflow you need to record uh, the two different pieces of footage that you need so I'm just going to quickly open up a demo and if you don't know how to record COD4 demos there are loads of tutorials on YouTube um, and just watch them they're really great they're in depth and you will just learn how to use movie making configs and to record PC at high frame rates so what you want to do first is just apply your config or whatever and then you want to open the console manage manager by hitting the tilde key and then you just want to type in uh, cg underscore uh, draw gun and then space and then zero and that will just get rid of the gun and you want to record your footage without the gun like so the little frag clip uh, without the gun like that so it will just look kind of weird but you want to do that so you have the footage without the gun and then once that's done once you recorded that uh, you want to open up the demo again and then I'll put the command the bind command for this in the description because it's really quite long found this on a forum somewhere and basically this allows you to green screen the gun so again you just want to apply your config and then I've binded it to F9 and boom just gets rid of the whole map except the gun and then you want to hit 9 on the numpad to get rid of the kill feed and the little HUD in the corner um, so you just have the gun and then you can press F10 to turn it off again and yeah I'll put that little bind command in the description so you can just copy and paste that straight into uh, the command the command manager and once you've done that you just want to close that off and I've got my footage here I already pre-recorded it before I started recording this tutorial just to save some time and now what you want to do is create a new composition and now we have to actually sync the footage with the gun uh, and to do that what I usually do like what I find the easiest way is to go to the point where the first shot is made and for it because it's a sniper it's a bit easier um, when I had to do this with the no scope here it was a bit harder to actually get it synced properly but it's really not too hard but what I usually do I usually go to the first shot and in the green screen footage when he is scoped in um, the gun isn't actually there so what I usually do I usually go to where the scope is fully like disappeared you can still see it faded there so over here there's no scope and then I bring in my green screen footage and I place it on top and you can either use key light or the color key in this case I'm going to use key light because it's a perfect green screen uh, generated by COD4 
it you don't need to mess around with the gain or balance because it's perfectly screened out and now that you've done that you just want to move across until the gun reappears after it disappears basically because that's when it did the shot so over there disappeared and it's reappeared and now the footage should be all synced up so what you want to do now you can just cut it off like so and after you've done that you can go to a place where the gun looks kind of cool like here yeah about that and you just want to search for displacement map uh, made a weird kind of farting sound with my pee that was weird <laughs> anyway you want to place it onto the footage without the gun and then you just want to hide your green screen footage and what you want to do is make the displacement map layer of the green screen footage and as you can see it automatically like displaces it kind of and you can kind of see the gun forming there what you want to do now is just I prefer these to uh, I prefer these on luminance and I now it's just time to mess around with the displacement and as you can see we have the shape of the gun over there I would like for now I'll just stick these on 50 and 50 they don't have to be the same you can this is where you can just start mucking around to what you want and as you can see it's kind of you've got these black edges because of the displacement so what you want to do is just bring up a motion tile and you want to place it on top of the displacement map otherwise it won't actually do anything and I'll just set this to 110 on the output width and height height and just mirror the edges and it kind of helps to get rid of the uh, sides without actually having to scale it up which is kind of annoying so as you can see we this is basically the main effect here um, if we go back onto our green screen footage and we can bring up a fill effect and I like doing this quite a bit and if you just turn it back on and then turn the opacity right down you can see we can kind of color tint it and that's what I did here I made it slightly blue I don't know I just tend to make things this kind of turquoisey blue color I don't even know why so I'm just going to do it again like that and then of course you can have it as colorized as you want I usually prefer to have a bit down and then obviously you have your color correction kind of changing the color slightly again um, but yeah this makes this gives you the gun effect but obviously here you see we have this kind of like kind of soft glassy warpiness going to it and I decided to put that on to make it a bit more realistic but you don't have to do this so if you just type in CC glass and you have this stylized effect and you put this or I prefer to have it on top of the fill and change yeah if you just open up surface you can slightly muck around with it just with the softness displacement and obviously there's not much of a difference but it does make a difference and well it makes the edges a bit sharper because I turned the softness quite well, I, I decided to turn the softness all the way down and basically this is the effect done obviously you can go with what everyone does go add some glow because that's uh, that people just add glow for the hell of it and it seems a bit bright so I'll turn it down with the opacity and that's the effect done that's it really pretty simple and obviously if you wanna like add some pan and crop just go ahead pre-compose it and then boom you can like scale up both of them together like that and this is the effect pretty nice pretty simple looks good when it's pulled off well and this is for me like the kind of like best way to do it really well this is how I do it anyway so of course just muck around with the dis with the displacement values the CC glass values the colors everything and just make it original make it cool and that's pretty much the tutorial done pretty nice simple effect and yeah thanks for watching guys don't forget to rate comment and subscribe uh, like favorite all of that stuff I just said that I think yeah I'm feeling kind of weird sorry if my voice is kind of nasally I've got like a stuffy nose kind of annoying and 
yeah, I really do appreciate 2K subscribers, man. 2K subscribers. So yeah, that sounds really weird. Okay, I think I should stop the tutorial now. Okay, yeah. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.